Everything's great. People are nice. <laughs> I like games. <laughs> You just feel it with certain teams and people. There's just a certain chemistry that kind of just clicks and works. Uh, Kevin and Dan had been wanting to start Telltale games, and uh, they had just kind of gotten things off the ground, and they certainly expressed an interest in me working with them again, and I was very interested in working with them. I knew it was going to be a lot of work starting a company uh, from the ground up and helping build the whole culture of it and try to get it established out there, but. I really had no idea just how much work that was really going to involve and and more than that, just how many different hats you had to wear on a daily basis just to keep everything going because it was a small group of us to begin with. All the hard work we had done for the first year of it was beginning, you could feel it beginning to pay off with the Sam and Max season starting. But long ago, when I first graduated from Sheridan College, I actually had a freelance gig where I got hired by Chuck Jones Productions. I actually got to storyboard out an entire like six minute theater short with Porky Pig and Daffy. And I came away from it going, man, that is, that is exactly what I want to do with my career. Didn't really get an opportunity to pursue it. I spent another 15, 16 years doing animation work, uh, but I kind of always in the back of my head knew I wanted to get back to doing storyboarding. And so I got an opportunity to come up to Portland to storyboard on Coraline. It's just something I just could not pass up. The Brickle Channel might be a little bit born out of the fact that now I'm currently a storyboard artist and now I'm not animating as much, so uh, I just felt like I wanted to have a little outlet to create some animation and discovered a process that allowed me to quickly quickly create an idea from scratch to finish into an animated piece. Yeah, it's really trying to create that mood or vibe that is inspiring me at the time. Would see my cartoons on people's iPhones and I was like, wow, it, I actually preferred seeing it on an iPhone. I think because of the simplistic nature of the style that I do, it just really pops on a phone. You know, I'm a big film nut, uh, so Stanley Kubrick, David Lynch, I uh, just love uh, the feel of the films that those guys have created, and I wanted to see if that could be somehow produced in a game. I'm stuck to the mantra of, for all my art, from day one of like, if I like it, I figure somebody else out there might like it. I've always kind of designed things that I personally wanted to see and the kinds of moods and themes that I wanted to see. And I feel the same way about this game. I just feel like I know that I personally would enjoy playing this and getting enveloped in this ambiance and mood that we're setting up. A whole bunch of puzzles that are wrapped in a story, I guess would be the best way to describe it. I think through the cartoons that I've been doing, the animated shorts I've been doing on YouTube, coupled with the sensibility that already existed at Telltale, um, it just seemed like a perfect kind of fit uh, for me to be able to sort of provide the art style that would be a unique look for a new Telltale product. Merge that with just the amazing storytelling abilities that are at the company and, uh, and the great games that they've produced. Uh, I am providing uh, quite a bit of the character animation for it, uh, consulting on the overall look. I've done a few environments, but thankfully uh, I've had a lot of help in that department. Ryan has been dealing with trying to draw in my style and I, because it's so simplistic it sort of ends up being like trying to copy someone else's signature. I mean everybody in the art team has just done a phenomenal job keeping it all in tune. It's kind of been amazing to see the end results of what, what they've been able to recreate in the, in the Telltale engine. There is something funny to me about somebody that's sort of isolated or left to their own devices in a situation. I don't know if it's from growing up in Northern Ontario where it's a, it is generally pretty isolated. You want a reaction from your audience. And I think a really good scary moment does that more effectively than most things. I just, I love the fact that the adventure games are able to tell stories, uh, I think, much more uh, 
intimately than, than a lot of other video games where the game mechanic is just, the, the story is sort of tagged onto it, but I mean with adventure games the story is truly part of the game and uh, I think it immerses people in a, in a, in a good way.